Guys, this is literally buried in the woods. What? Hello explorers and welcome back to my channel. Sunny old UK. But in this video, I'm up in Scotland Highlands in the middle of nowhere. Literally the middle of nowhere. The nearest house to us here is literally miles away. And the only house that we're heading to is again, my favorite, in the middle of some woodlands. Now the family that lived here wasn't just any ordinary family. They were Satanism. People who practiced ritual, black magic, and some crazy ass stuff. Excuse my language. Literally, the guy who lived there with his family built his own church in the woods, chapel, church, whatever we want to call it, um, which was basically called it the Church of Satan, or basic stuff like that. Um, the locals don't even want anyone going here. So if you are spotted, you are likely to be shot by the farmers that are locally to the area because or shot over at. I've heard all different stories. It's what you believe. But yeah, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel or you are a regular watcher anyway and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe. It doesn't cost an absolute thing. You can unsubscribe anytime. Hit that like button. Let's get two, three thousand likes for this. Love you all guys, enjoy that video, and see you and speak soon. So, I'm torn between Blair Witch and Predator right now. <laughs> oh, just can't see the house in a minute. This is, I know all my explorers are dodgy, but this one feels really skeptical. <laughs> Who's here? And this guy you don't want to mess with. See that? That's another one. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> No. It reminds me of like some horror film. It really does. Yeah, they've got their outside bath. Oh, no. It's like an old farm. Outside summer, he asked. Table and chairs. There's some weird going on. The numbers will be there for shooting. This is going to be crazy. Guys, this is like a horror film. I'm not even joking. I feel like we're going to be hunted. But also looking for a house that's like a cult house. They're practicing weird stuff. It's like a scene out of Blair Witch. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm among all these woods, across the horrible field. Turn the camera around slowly. Yeah. Look at this. It's an actual little, like, um, I don't know. Look 
at the old style bricks. Let's get in there, let's check it out. Let's check this out, it's like a little, it's like a little church house. Looks like it's been badly sort of done, looks like there's a window up there that hasn't even been finished. This place is crazy. Oh, so windy. I'm not sure how the mic's gonna sound. I just feel like the hill is gonna come out any minute. That chopped me up or something. It's coming through this door. I thought it was a little house, but it is. It's a little chapel in the woods, or a little ha um, church. But we do believe the owners also lived on the grounds. So look at this. It's like up on a mezzanine floor. So it looks like it saintly was building like a little churchy chapel. Looks like it's all unfinished. I'm just looking down there, guys. It's absolutely crazy. So, standing back on the lower level of this church, or chapel, so you imagine the family sat in here while the father stands up and talks all about religion and also we've heard a lot of stories and stuff that's written up on this place that the family were into ritual stuff demonic stuff satanist and all kinds of crazy stuff so you imagine it just looking around at the little things in it the little stall there and the, the newspaper here dating in 1996 so back outside the chapel or the church whatever you want to call it so as we're hiking again through the woodlands, you can see another building appearing in front of me now, which is another, I don't know, sitting house, a drinking house, whatever we used it for, who knows. It's unfinished, as you can see, but we still haven't found the house, so we're heading on. So guys, still on a track. We believe, yeah. I think we spotted it now. Laugh. I'm all camouflaged. <laughs> I've got orange gloves on. There's another like out of building there. So I'm really sorry about the voiceovers, but the wind is just so bad in my video. I need to uh, adventure and buy a mic, maybe for my next explore. As you can see, again, looking around here, there's a massive wall that runs around here. But we do know there's an old estate on here that's literally an old ruin. So we're guessing it's the original gates there to the old estate. But this place is really, really beautiful. Just the fact that it's just so buried in the woods. So the hike continues. Walking up this lane here, passing this, I don't know, like a double garage with like a, maybe like an annex above. But you carry on walking the footpath. As you can see another building appearing in front of me. But also to the right in a minute is another house just all sat in there it's like a little village and next to this building here is a little old fuel pump like what the old garages used to have to dispense of petrol or diesel but you can see the house there but it's still not the house the family lived in so who lived here we still don't know but i'm so sorry again guys for the voiceover so the house that the building that we see from a distance so you can see the fuel pump standing next to it maybe this was used for storage or something i'm not sure it was just a load of junk inside and then the little shed beside it again it's just a random chair sat in there but this house here we have no recognition of actually who lived here or what this was but as i said the family had his whole 
his daughter and his son live in there as well, so maybe put them there, who knows? Room of the house. Look at this. So uh, imagine that looking out here of a day. Guys, this is crazy that things like this are just left. Unfortunately, there's not a lot in here. But it's so cool. Another building that's in the woods. So guys just coming into this place. It looks quite gutted. A beautiful stone brick fireplace. But this is absolutely mad just how this place is. It's situated. Picture upstairs right now. That's what you've filmed. What's that? If, uh, if you want a photo of that, that room there. All right there. Is there anything out there? Just, Just get a sponge on the wall. So guys, we brought you into here because it is just in the woods. You would never ever see this on Google Earth, like on maps or anything. We just spotted something, went for it, and found it. Photos. Don't know what that is. <laughs> They've definitely been there a long time. And I wonder when the last time that cooked a, made a cup of tea, boiled some water. Do you know what? Though it just feels, guys. There's someone. He's gonna come. Shooters. Who knows? Is there a back door? Yeah, it's been nailed. I'm not even going to squeeze around the ladder, as you can see, it's just empty, guys. But what else is in the woods? There's a, we've seen other buildings, so... So, guys, this is the back of the house. Yeah, okay, there wasn't a lot in there, but we're going to tread on, we're going to carry on. We've seen another building that we, when we was walking in, you would have seen on the camera before we came in this house. We're going to check that out. I'm going to check the rest of the buildings out, but literally, <laughs> it is mad. It's so noisy here. The wind literally just busting the sheets of steel on the roof. So as you can see, guys, we're going to head in there, the roof's knackered. It looks like an old workshop. It looks like he's reclaimed old church windows to build what he's building. So there's the main house. Just gonna keep prodding on. So as we plod on, you can see in the distance there, there's two pillars that would have been the estate, the entrance maybe to the estate, and then turning around, looking back to where we've just been, like the road down to the little ritual village. 
so the this would have been an estate i think or a house so we're going to go through we're going to check it out guys it's probably the worst day to explore today it's so windy it's like cindy windy so see you haven't lost track that's the way i've just come from I think we might have found another house. No way. This is like the giving but giving. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's an old estate. Guys, check this out. Wow, 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 it's an old ruin. Maybe the old estate room. Look at that. This is probably the original house to the estate and they've built the other houses over the years. What a beautiful ruin. Guys, I've got to say, I love a ruin. Absolutely love a ruin. It reminds me of something like out of Indiana Jones when you step in places like this. Look at that. I'm gonna stop here for two seconds. There's like an old fireplace up there. Let's imagine this back as a family home. Probably a lord. Who knows? Very old though, like the old stone bricks. As you can see there. Oh my God, so excited. Honestly, I'm so excited. I feel like it's something else. We find something else, we think, from the distance. So we're going to head there as well and check that out. Oh, my God. So this guy's just coming back down here. We found another house on Google Maps, but I didn't. I missed this on the way up. It is like a little... It is a little, little village, isn't it? It's got its own fuel pump. <laughs> anyway, let's tread on. Just coming back down here so we don't miss nothing. Look at the old anklers up there. It's like an old ranch. But he's not a nice man. <laughs> he definitely won't invite us in for a cup of tea. 100 percent though. Just treading on guys, treading on, treading on. Guys, we're treading on. Come through here. All the way around. So is that tree. And guess what you can see? Just over there. A little chimney pot. I think we found another house. <sighs> so hot now. Here we go, another house buried, again, see the old stone brick there guys. Here we go guys. Here yeah, we are so open now, Jesus. Another bathtub. See, we're just standing outside this place, through the front door, already. Look at this. It's an actual little time capsule. Sitting in the woods. Look at this. Now, hopefully I'm gonna go nice and slow for you guys. Just sitting here, guys. That view, just sitting at the table. Now, I'm actually going to try and do it. So, if you're sitting here talking to your loved one, sharing breakfast, spinning your head around slowly, seeing little birds out there, your farm animals maybe, and the water there, and <laughs> sitting in the bathtub. I'm hoping they didn't bath outside, guys. So, I forgot what these are called. I think they're like um, a little. Uh, Right, no, I can't think. I'm loving the blue bottle, look at that bottle. The way the light just pierces through it. Little horses. 
and you can see guys the decay in here so please no one say it looks too clean this is definitely abandoned wow I do love these old stoves now they used to actually give you the, the actual temperature inside a lot of ovens today just put up number five number six and then they were used maybe this was replaced but it's an actual like copper tubing i wouldn't have thought that was original this is absolutely amazing i'm loving the old tiles in the background what is this right guys i don't actually know what this is and i can just about is it rayburn rayburn mean anything to anyone looking around here and the picture there it reminds me of kind of where we are like the mountains the woodlands and just being in nature Somewhere. Guys, another little style cooker. My mum had one of these when I was a kid. No, guys, I was born in 83, so we definitely had stuff like this. Berlin Classic. I wonder what's for tea. Oh, nothing. I think it was just so many years too late, guys. Wow, look at these. I'm loving these. Oh, look. Man cane. Paprika. Robert. It's like little spices and herb pots. It's so cool. <laughs> the old beer. Who wants to crack open a bevy? Yeah. What is like a. I'm just dressed up with something that's like a tablecloth. This is so cool. That's really nice. Just chuck my light on. Wow. I love these old sinks. I can't remember what these heaters are called. My granddad did say when he watched my video the other day. like the rotten decay this little forgotten house one day probably would have been a clear view now just woodlands and overgrow that's cement dust can't get out of there sorry oh so who's in that vent Knows you upstairs. I love the old photos. Yeah, they're great. Isn't they? All the books there. You just see any of them titles there? Oh, hello. This bench is probably completely right away. It's probably outside near the farmhouse somewhere. Oh, the ghost stories. That reminds me of the, the, the property was just up near. And maybe the old key, which probably might have been to the old ruin years ago, who knows. guys in this front room look at these old drawers imagine being quite creepy as well and the woodlands backed onto you this place is literally in the middle of nowhere Oh, the ashes in there, it's like they've been burning bodies. <laughs> Forgotten loved ones.
Oh, bless. It's probably an old lady now. I'm just near the table again. So they definitely love looking outside. And it makes me think that possibly was the old lady she was living here last on her own. So obviously husband and wife, but obviously she would have been the last one living. This poor little bird, obviously flown in, got stuck. A little lady's hat. It's amazing though, honestly, just how it's sitting out there. The old glassware, the silver tray, probably not silver, maybe steel. Yeah. So cool. This room here is just literally. Like an old storeroom, maybe. You can see that the woodlands out the back are just completely taken. Just looking here, guys. It's like another picture here. Look at that. Going up these steps. Yeah, that one is completely missing left open. The window to nothing. The so first bedroom. Again, probably used as maybe a storeroom. No cobwebs. Some <laughs> spiders are completely taken over that. It's quite a, a cool little hallway. You see the way the ceilings just slope both sides. And everything was remade or refixed. You see that little old bracket there. Today you'd probably just think, nah, take it down, rip it down, yeah. replace it. And let her just put these old. Brows. Bedroom number two. They're decaying in the window. The window's literally about to pop out. You can see how old the string is. So they've probably dealt with this for a long, long time, even living here, where they couldn't maybe afford to. They couldn't maybe afford to fix the window. So they just tied it back on. We come here early in the morning, but as you can see, just how dark and dingy these rooms would have been. A little bird nest. How long has this bedding not been changed? It's so nice though, places like this. And I would probably pretty much say yes. Wow. Guys, this place is absolutely crazy. The serious water damage here, look at this. Gonna ruin the whole house. It's 
So maybe like they slept him and her like this for a long while before maybe, I'm guessing he passed away first due to stuff that's left in the house. This fireplace guys. Imagine how cold it would have been in there. <laughs> wow, look at this. A really old hair dryer. And stuff when it was made in England. Absolutely love it. Rarely you see that now. Oh, look at that. Little old bedside lamp. The plug 59p. Natural decay. I was just coming out of this room. I'm just showing you now about the light, how dark this is. It's nine o'clock in the day. In the morning. So we've been up here. The old dinner tray. And the old blow. Get the fires going. Two or cake, sir? Missy? Who's that? Back in the front room. We put a lamp there because it had fallen down, so... Oh. We can't get through here. We can't get through the secret door. Maybe it's a secret garden. Even the house is decaying, but look, we'll go back here. Even the little bird, bless it. See these negatives there, you can just about work out. Obviously that was the house we was at earlier. I'm nothing in the piano guys. Can't really see it. And this house here, which you can't really work out, is where we are. No, it's not focusing. You see that there? That's the house we're standing in. <laughs> not that you can work that out, but that's the one there. It's my farm here. This is the one we was at earlier with the piano. There's so many memories just literally just decaying guys. It's crazy. This ain't going to be a last video you're going to see Rod. <coughs> but, Instagram, exploring underscore Rod. You got it mate. I got it, check him out okay. guys. Link will be in description. Thank you very much. Obviously there are nude ones on there of me and Rod so check that out. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to post them, Dave. <laughs> you said that was going to be our own secret little. Guys, we had to swing in here like Tarzan. This place is literally in the middle of the woods. Now, though, when you look through the front here, it looks like, well, we just come across a field, but honestly, we didn't just come across that field. Oh, I think we'd get shot if we did. It's the front door, literally, I came in, as you can see. The webs must have literally acted as a hinge, because this door has not been open for a long, long time. And we think we are possibly, I don't know, maybe one of the first in here for a long while. But I think we're done in here, guys. We're going to get out. Need some fresh air. So, see you on the outside. That's the front of the house. We had to get in quick, so I showed you it last. Now I need to get the hell out of here because I'm so open right now. We're literally taking the other route to get out of here, so... Guys, I'll see you back at the car. Love you all. See you soon, in a minute, in a minute, in a moment, moment, moment. So we've come from the enchanted forest. We've walked miles, crappy weather. 
Sorry, I had to put that in. It is horrible today. Oh, it's horrible. Lucky with the, the sun of Scotland. Scotland's beautiful. Oh. Absolutely love it. Would I move here? Uh, yes. <laughs> nah, I would. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. But today is one of the worst days I've explored in a while. My waterproof boots and uh, wet oh, all the way through. Oh, it's terrible. These, would I recommend them? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were freezing them the other day. Mate, that's why we need to get out of here. <laughs> that farmer, man, I told you. That was what you had to teach. Anyway, let's get off this mucky field. Oh, my feet are squelching. Whoa. Gonna get run over, Rod. Get in. And he ain't slowing down. No. <laughs> Guys, what we do for a video, what we do for a picture. You don't realise sometimes you see that picture and you think that's nice, but you don't realise we have to walk miles crawl through rubbish, get feet soaked, get feet soaked, get, feet soaked. get your feet soaked, <sighs> climb through yeah. holes, oh bloody hell, <laughs> anyway, we're back at the car, that's got to be worth a thumbs up that video, we? <laughs> remember I said it in the beginning, check out Rod, <laughs> exploring underscore Rod, Instagram, check him out, <sighs> Right, anyway guys, see you soon. Love you all. Oh, what am I doing there? That's why I put the gimbal on. Anyway guys, see you soon. See you in the next adventure. Surely it'll be with Rob. Rob? Rob? Oh, I get called all sorts, mate. Don't I ask? It's Rod. Um, yeah. See you all soon, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button. The bigger the channel, the bigger we'll grow. Well, the bigger I'll grow, but obviously we're going to get Rod in. We're going to get Rod video in. At the moment he's not sure. Put in my video comments now if Rod should get YouTube. <laughs> do it, do it. Do it. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon. Promise. Love you all. Take care. Boom. Yo, what's up, explorers? So, sorry about the, a lot of these voiceovers. The wind was just so bad in this video. Remember, guys, YouTube recognises us as creators. So, if you do like our videos, please hit that like. It means the absolute world to us. The more likes, the more we grow, the more YouTube recognises, the more videos we can put out. So guys, remember also hit that subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And you can also unsubscribe if you don't like the channel later on. As I said, see you soon on the next adventure. Love you all. Take care.